Okay, go. We're shooting a film called The Middle Path. It's about a scientist and a robot. And the scientist just turned on the robot for the first time and says, I want you to go out into the world and experience the world unbiased and as a blank slate to give the scientist some uh, truthful answers about life. The low light capabilities of the Lumix GH5S really can't be understated. The ability to have two native ISOs in 400 and ISO 2500 essentially allowed us to light our subject using two TVs. We were at ISO 2500, which is the high end of the native ISO range, just to give you the best dynamic range and noise performance. It's performing like a full frame camera in low light. We used the Zeiss Master Anamorphic Prime. We were shooting in 10-bit 4x3 anamorphic mode, mostly in 24p at 400 megabits per second. Some 30p, just to give us that 80% slow-mo if needed. Shooting exteriors in Oregon obviously provides some challenges with the weather. During one of our last nights of filming, it started raining. The camera held up fine, it got fairly wet. We were just wiping off the lens and not even worrying about the camera. I would normally use an audio recorder, but since getting the XLR1 adapter, fits with the portability of the GH line, which I'm all about. I've really enjoyed shooting with the Lumix GH5S. The two things I noticed were like, way better than the light highlight roll off, but for video people, that's huge. Like, that's not something to just blow off. A two stop increase would bring this up to 14 stops of dynamic range, which is just about film. This camera now is an all light camera. You, you can light, you know, you should still light your, your stuff, but it gives you that much more flexibility. You're gaining a sensor that like doesn't belong in a camera of this price point. Panasonic.